o'clock news starts right now with a breaking news alert. Good evening. We're following local breaking news on the west side tonight where the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office tells us someone shot and killed a man outside of a convenience store. It happened around 7 this evening near McDuff Avenue and McQuaid Street. That's where Channel 4's Ashley Harding is joining us now live. Ashley, what do you learn? Adrian, we are told that this victim is a black male in his mid to late 30s. We're told he was taken to UF Health Jacksonville where he did die tonight. It's a very active scene here. You can see behind me crime scene tape is up. This is as close as we're able to get. But take a look. You can see just how active it is. We've seen lots of police cars here. Crime scene tape is up. Detectives are walking in and out of the food mart here on McDuff and McQuaid. We're trying to figure out exactly what happened here. But take a look at that dark car just about 1 o'clock to where I'm standing. We're told that is the victim's vehicle, but again, police are trying to figure out exactly what happened here, why this happened. Let's listen now to Sergeant Jay Farhat. Not a drive-by. Uh, it appears that there was some type of uh, altercation between our victim and the suspect. Uh, suspect is a black male, uh, drove up in a vehicle, uh, shot the victim, and then got in his vehicle and fled. Uh, that's all we have at this point in time. We're trying to identify the type of vehicle. Now, police say several witnesses were inside the food mart just before this shooting occurred. We're told they left just before police arrived. They are asking those people to come forward if they heard anything, saw anything, may have seen this vehicle and can give a description. Anyone with information is asked to call JSO or call Crime Stoppers. That number, 866-845-TIPS. Reporting live, I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station. They certainly understand police still trying to piece everything together. What about surveillance video in that area? Did the store happen to have anything that could help investigators? Yes, Agent. We, we are told that there is surveillance video belonging to the food mart. They're looking at that right now. Also looking at the physical evidence. They hope to gather as much as they can from that and hopefully put out some more information to hopefully get some new leads. Ashley Harding reporting live for us tonight on the west side. Ashley, thank you.